In New York City, on the westernmost edge of Long Island, in the borough of Brooklyn, a small park along New York Harbor, the Narrows Botanical Gardens. An island refuge. The native plant garden is an experience, a microcosm of upstate New York or anywhere in the Northeast. So we have a stream, pond, and then this area is a bog. Hey everybody. We're at the Narrows Botanical in the Native Plant Garden. Right now, around me are all what's called vernal plants. They are plants that pop up in the spring, full of leaf, flower, seed, and die back by July. They take full advantage of the sun and moisture they get in the spring. Ones right beyond my shoulder are called Virginia bluebells. Summer in the native plant garden, the plants are at full throttle. Everything's happening. They're flowering, they're being pollinated, they're going into seed. It's an exciting time with a lot of lushness. Also, it's an exciting time for insects because they get to eat all of the native plants that are in our garden. The reason that we want native insects is, in the spring, we want native birds. About 20 years ago, the area that we're sitting in right now was covered with weeds, a lot of garbage and debris. We converted this area into, let's say, the way it looked 400 years ago. When I designed this garden, I wanted to do a serpentine path so that you can curve through this whole garden. Each curve becomes a little statement and a different type of a garden. This plant in the middle here is actually from the south. It's called water hyacinths. It grows really delicious, deep roots. This is their flotation device. This is the root system, which actually cleans the water. It's like just frightened. Sometimes if you do this, The other unique thing that we have in the garden is a turtle sanctuary for native turtles to the northeast of the United States. Just today, Michelle, our assistant here, this is what Michelle found, and this turtle just crawled out of um, being hatched. That is a native box turtle. We have painted turtles, too, that are native to the northeast. Does anyone have an idea why they'd call it a painted turtle? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I don't know, because the colors are Absolutely. Really he's, he's so beautiful. It's pretty simple. You probably know more names of animals from Africa than you do with native turtles. This is a problem. These guys are under attack. They are losing their environment. I want to highlight some of the wonderful things that are happening in the fall in the garden. Some of the flowers that we have now are called asters. They're a beautiful, beautiful purple flower that come up in the fall. They're wonderful for pollinators. And we have goldenrod. A lot of the plants are slowing down. They're pulling their energy back into the plant and they're releasing their leaves. In wintertime, it's a time of sleeping and hibernation till the next spring. Native bog plants. These are all from the northeast. That's blueberry right there. So this whole area is being cleaned by these water plants. The native plant garden has been a real team effort. 
from the community in Bay Ridge, from high schools, from volunteers, from neighbors, from our core group doing this garden. This was a real team effort to make the native plant garden happen. The last end of the garden was neglected for several years, but I had a group from Fort Hamilton High School called Make a Difference, and they did make a difference. They came down every weekend, and they dug that out, they took the dead branches out, and we made a beautiful circular pathway with all native plants in that area. And within the next three to five years, that area is going to turn into a magical forest. Twenty-three years ago when we started the garden, we started with absolutely nothing. The garden can be many magical and wonderful things with your contributions.